Hello. No, operator, if you can't release, I'll talk to Mr. Morrison. Hello, Mr. Morrison? Link Case. I'm calling from Martinsdale. Oh? Mr. Horse calls you already. I don't know. I guess he doesn't like the way I comb my hair. Let's just say I'm not cut out to be a salesman. Uh, Mr. Morrison, I'm going to be leaving in a couple of minutes. Would you tell my buddy Todd Stiles in processing that I'll be in on the 346? I can't seem to raise him. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. I ran away from another town once, a long time ago. Only there, I wasn't a stranger. I was the least important member of the most important family. But I had hopes. It's easy to seem important in a small town, especially when your family happens to run the bank. <laughs> oh, sure, I spent a little more than I earned at the bank, drank a little more than I could handle. But everybody was most tolerant. They said, well, give them time. But as it turned out, they didn't. You see, there was this shortage at the bank. Nothing criminal, just bad management. Stupidity. But you don't admit this and go on being the leading banker in a small town. Oh. You have to find yourself a scapegoat. And once you've picked your pigeon, you publicly denounce him. And you publicly promise to make good the shortage. And then you privately tell him to clear out, to run to keep on running. Your own family did that to you. Yeah, my Uncle Mike and my dear, dear brother-in-law, Gilbert. Why'd you let him get away with it? <laughs> well, I was still young enough to be shocked by what decent men will do to save their own hides. And getting away from that bunch of cannibals seemed the most sensible thing to do. Besides, they, they were shrewd, you know. Sure. They had me boxed, and they knew it. And you've never been back? No, oh, no, no. Once you run, you don't go back. So here, I'm staying. Oh, it doesn't really matter whether or not I brought the tick in here. What matters is, whatever they're going to do, this time I've got to face it. out of the way, Andy. How can you help a bum like that? I don't know that it was his fault. Even if I did, I couldn't be part of what you're doing. Nobody asked you to be a part of it. Well, I would be if I didn't try to stop you. Now, George, if nothing will satisfy you short of beating or killing this man, 
be ready to kill me, too. I got the feeling, buddy, you gotta leave. Yeah, isn't that always the way it is? I'd sure like to come to Texas sometime when you and Link are gonna be there. Yeah, Link would show you that old dirt road where the lumber wagons and ice wagons came by. For a nickel. Take it easy, Pete. You too. Say, when you get that rocket built, if you need a navigator, you can count on me. So long, Todd. So long, Pete. Dog, huh? I had her sent up from Texas for his birthday. And the ticks came with her. Whole story will be in the paper tonight. Well, fine. Send me a copy care of general delivery in New Orleans. <laughs> you are a contrary cuss. You stay when we want you to go and go when we'd like you to stay. Good luck. Same to you. I'll see you around, Tom. So long, Alex. Now, if you're ready to settle down... Yeah. I'll remember. Yes, Ethel. Sure, Ethel. Thanks for the advice. Bye. Boy, if there's one thing I get plenty of, it's advice. I wish somebody really knew what to do about irregularity. Ask your doctor. He knows. Doctors recommend milk of magnesia. Thousands of doctors in personal interviews all over the country were asked, do you ever recommend milk of magnesia? And their answer in an overwhelming majority was yes. You see, Milk of Magnesia is both a dependable laxative and a soothing antacid. It relieves irregularity and accompanying acid indigestion. No single purpose laxative can give such complete yet comfortable relief. In fact, general practitioners, obstetricians, pediatricians, even surgeons recommend Milk of Magnesia for their patients. I took my doctor's advice, Ethel, and now my irregularity worries are over. Honestly, no household should be without Philips Milk of Magnesia. Regular or mint flavored. This is Glenn Corbett. Now Martin Miller takes you on a preview of our next Route 66. Chris! We could do this two ways. Right here where we break up the furniture and somebody whistles cop and we all got grief. Or outside nice and quiet where like only one of us has grief. 
There's another way you could just leave. I don't know what the beef is, but why don't we try and straighten it out? Like tonight at dinner, the three of us, okay? I hate her. I don't believe that. I wish she was never born. Do you hear me? I wish she was dead. Be with us in Los Angeles for the next episode of Route 66, when Susan Oliver gives a startling performance in Between Hello and Goodbye. Instant flaking Bayer aspirin and orange flavored Bayer aspirin for children and Philips Milk of Magnesia, the complete antacid laxative, have brought you this portion of Route 66. Film presentation, Herbert B. Leonard, executive producer. <laughs>